Hi everyone, today we are reading Goldilocks and the Three Bear, adapted by Mara Alperin, illustrated by Kate Dobney. Once there was three bears who lived together in a cozy little cottage. Each morning they made yummy scrummy porridge for breakfast. It was the best meal of the day. But one morning, baby bear said, Ouch! This porridge is hot, hot, hot. Let's take a walk before breakfast and give it time to cool, said Mommy Bear. And so they did. No sooner had the bears left than someone peeked in through the window. Someone with bright golden hair. Her name was Goldilocks. And she was a very cheeky little girl. Goldilocks tap, tap, tapped on the door. Hello, she called. Hello. When no answer came, she pushed the door open and crept inside to explore. What a delicious smell. Goldilocks tiptoed into the kitchen and saw three bowls of yummy scrummy porridge on the table. She slurped Daddy Bear's porridge, but it was too lumpy. She sipped Mummy Bear's porridge, but it was too sweet. Then she tasted Baby Bear's porridge. It was just right, so she ate it all up. <gasps> Gosh, Goldilocks was very full, so she looked around for somewhere to sit. There in the sitting room were three magnificent chairs. She tried Daddy Bear's chair, but it was too hard. She squished into Mummy Bear's chair, but it was too soft. Then she rocked in Baby Bear's chair. It was just right. Whee! cried Goldilocks. She rocked and rocked faster and faster until... Crash! Went the chair and broke into a hundred pieces. Oopsie! Giggled Goldilocks. That was something bad, isn't it, children? She was... Having so much fun. I wonder what's upstairs, she said. Up in the bedroom were three wonderful beds. Goldilocks jumped on Daddy Bear's bed, but it was too squeaky. She bounced on Mummy Bear's bed, but it was too squashy. Then she hopped to Baby Bear's bed. It was just right. <sighs> Snort Goldilocks. She had fallen fast asleep. But as Goldilocks slept on, the three bears came home. They were very, very hungry. And when they opened the door, Someone's been eating my porridge, growled. Daddy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, rumbled Mummy Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby Bear. And now it's all gone. <sighs> and before Mummy Bear could make some more porridge, they heard a loud roar from the sitting room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, rumbled Mummy Bear rushing over. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear. And now it's broken. <laughs> but before Daddy Bear could fix the chair, they all heard a noise coming from above. One after the other, the three bears crept up the stairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, rumbled Mummy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby 
baby bear. And she's still here. Goldilocks opened her eyes. Yikes! She shrieked. Three very hungry bears were staring down at her. Goldilocks leaped up and dashed down the stairs and bumped into the kitchen table. Smack! The bowls of porridge flew up, up, up and the gooey porridge fell splat on her golden hair. Ew! Yelp Goldilocks. The last the three bears saw of Goldilocks was her dashing down the path, leaving a very sticky trail of porridge behind her. Someone's covered in yummy scrummy porridge, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's covered in licky sticky honey, tutted Mummy Bear. Can we have toast for breakfast instead, said Baby Bear. And so they did. So what do you think children? Should Goldilocks have entered somebody's house without their permission? Let me know. Bye.